Yo, what's up, Hacker Nation? This is Zrek, and today I have a a little quick tutorial on how to set up Dark Comet 5. So yeah, let's get to it. Um, first of all, what you're gonna need to do is wanna go right here to noip.com, and you're gonna wanna register. I'll have all the links um, in the description and then on the thread. So once you're registered, what you wanna do is wanna go to your noip. Once you're here, you wanna go to add host. All right, and you're gonna make three hosts per account, and it's, I use three different rats. I use two different rats right now on this account, and I use a uh, host booter. So yeah, what you want to do? It's um, this is gonna be different. It's gonna have an option right here. You can name your host whatever you want. I just have rec, and then uh, it's gonna have which one you want to pick, and you're gonna have to choose uh, noip.biz or noip.org. It's gonna be a drop-down menu, and make sure you have noip.biz or .org. That's what I use. So you're gonna have to remember this host name. This is gonna be your host. All right. So once you have that made, what you wanna do is gonna go to uh, click right here on No IP. To figure bring you the home page, and you wanna hear where it says download. You have to download the duck. It's gonna be the dynamic DNS uh, update clients, and you wanna pick your operating system. I use Windows. So just click on it, download it. But I already have it downloaded right here. Every time you're gonna be, you have to have this open when you're gonna use your dark comet. As you guys can see, I have it updated right here. I have it up. So yeah, once you have that done, what you wanna go? Just wanna hear to that actual page of dark comet. Uh, you could just Google it. It's a page. I have everything in the description of the video and on thread. So yeah, you wanna hit download, and this go right here. Download. Make sure it's uh, version five the newest version and you just want to click on I have read I promise I assume direct link and it should start downloading and um, the third thing you would need to do it's um, is to open your ports um, a lot of people always have this, this problem is by uploading um, opening the ports I mean and um, a easy way to, to solve everything like I remember I had problems with my ports so this is an easy way to have no problems that works every single time and it's to get a MVPN these um, VPNs cost eight dollars a month I think or seven or something like that and it has a port forwarding option and you also stay secure so that's good so nobody know your IP and um it has a port forwarding option so you can just type in like the port like today we're gonna be using 1604 for dark comment and then all you have to do is just disable your firewall and there you go everything's ready as you guys can see right here we could check our port 1604 check it see success I can see your service on port 1604 so it's open if you don't get this uh, success um, that means you didn't port forward right but sometimes you have to be using it to the ports to say open so make sure you have like the rat or whatever open and yeah but if you use MVPN you will have no problems of port forwarding and there's also a bunch of tutorials if you're gonna port forward your router or modem whatever there's uh, search it on Google on or on YouTube or something alright so once you have that done you wanna uh, extract our comment I'm using WinRAR. Let's extract the file. You can have this file. But I already downloaded it, so I'm gonna use the one I already have. Just run as admin. And every time you want to run cyber, I mean uh, dark comet, you want to make sure uh, once you download the duck, you're gonna go edit, and you're gonna type in your your email and your password, the same as you use for the no IP. And you want to go select host, and it's gonna show up all your hosts. I check all of them because I use all three. Just hit save, refresh. Everything should be working. And once you're here, you want to go where it says socket, and add a new port to listen. And I we're gonna use 1604 and hit listen. You can see uh, we're already listening, so delete it. I'm already listening to it, so. Right here. So now what you want to do is want to go right here to client settings, and when it goes says no IP updater, 
click on it and you want to retype your your host name this name you have to remember it the one you use because you're gonna have to use it to make the server for the no IP so whatever you made the no IP dot is want to type in your username and your password and just hit update success everything works so now what you want to do is you want to go to server module and this is where you make your rat so for main settings um, here I'm gonna load up uh, a profile you can save your settings so I main settings um, I have security password and check uh, this hit generate a couple times server ID I have it bought you can name it whatever you want um, profile name I name it under Zrex see right here save the settings um, this you want to check if you're gonna encrypt your file to make it FUD for network settings this is like the most important part this is where you add your no IP account and you add the port you're using. We're using 1604, and you just add it. But I already have it, so I'm gonna delete it. And then um, module startup. I have everything unchecked. Install message. So I have that unchecked. Uh, module shield. I have everything unchecked. All these you can add when if, with the crypto. You can install these antis and stuff. Keylogger, make sure it's active offline, or else you can use send logs FTP. But I use offline keylogger and host file. It's I have nothing on here. Um, choose icon. You could use the icon, but I'm using no icon because you can add this with a binder and when you're encrypting it. You can add and um, plugins. I have nothing. File binder. You could bind this with another file and right here you add it. You find your you file and you add it, but I'm not gonna be using it because you can also use a binder. Most cryptors have binders and icon changes, they have everything. So right here on build module, um the output extension, make sure it's on exe and wanna have compressed uh, executable disabled. And this hit um build server and um just name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna use test server it to your desktop whatever and I'm just gonna hit no because I already have it when made so pretty much when you have your server made uh, you want to try to get someone uh, right here on the thread or something to crypt your file or else purchase a uh, cryptor and another thing uh, to start spreading this still there's a lot of tutorials I'll be put, making a bunch of threads this is my first uh, video tutorial I made on this forum so you want to go to Dropbox download Dropbox and once you download it, it's free. Uh, when you install it, it's gonna look like this. It's gonna be on your test bar right here, or you can just search it on your start. And right here, when it says public, pretty much you you can upload any files and share it. So pretty much all you do is like this drag and drop your servers and stuff on here. And once you have your um, servers, you just right click it. Here I'll be using this one. Right click it and go to copy public link. So pretty much like like we have a rat everything made already if you want to go to like send it some installs like this download execute but you can make other people give you some installs or you could spread your link on forums and start on um, infecting people with your virus and stuff and so yeah that's pretty much it guys a uh, very easy tutorial and um, if you want to um, request any other tutorials and stuff like that um, just post here or PM me if you need help or anything and um, yeah peace out